Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about the case number 2 of tangential method of tachometric survey in which both the angles of target are the angles of depression. So let's say that this is a cross section of land on which two points are given as point A and point B. At one point the instrument is being placed, at another point the staff is being placed and the distance between them is required let's say that this is the axis of the instrument as i said that both the angles are the angles of depression so let's say that this is the first angle of depression as theta 1 and this is the second angle of depression as theta 2 the difference of the staff readings taken at theta 1 and theta 2 is s the distance between the axis of the instrument to the point where the staff reading is taken at theta 2 is b since we are being asked to calculate the horizontal distance so in order to calculate the horizontal distance t we need to consider this right angle triangle in this right angle triangle the angle is theta 1 the base is d but the perpendicular is not given but we can calculate that the perpendicular in this right angle triangle would be the difference of b and s so considering this right angle triangle we are going to use a trigonometric relationship that contains perpendicular and base which is 10 theta so 10 theta 1 would be equal to b minus s over t by cross multiplying then we will have the equation for the t but in this equation you can see that there are three variables are there b s and theta 1 s is the staff intercept which can be noted on field and also theta 1 can also be noted on field v is the only variable which cannot be noted on field so in order to calculate the value for v we are going to consider this right angle triangle in that right angle triangle the angle is theta 2 the perpendicular is v and the base is d so considering this right angle triangle we have perpendicular and base again we are using 10 theta so 10 theta 2 would be equal to v over d by cross multiplying then we will have the value for the v as d tan theta 2 so putting the value of v in the equation of d then we will have the equation for the d as simplifying further then we will have the final equation for the d as so in this situation we can see that there are three variables are there stop intercept theta 1 and theta 2 so all these variables can be noted on field so once we have the value for the d putting that into the equation of v then we can have the equation for the v as again you can see that there are three variables are there s theta 1 and theta 2 all those variables can be noted on field and sometime we are also being asked to calculate the reduced level of the point b then in that case we should have a point of known reduced level and that is benchmark placing the staff at that point taking the backside reading from that point so then the reduced level of point b would be reduced level of benchmark plus backside reading we will have then the reduced level of the axis of instrument the axis of instrument is higher than the point b it means we need to move down first we will be moving down by a magnitude of b means subtracting v we will be having the reduced level at point where the staff reading is taken at theta 2 so subtracting that staff reading h then we will have the final equation for the reduced level of point b 